Hello everyone. As you're learning to use matrices for solving things, you're looking at essentially what I would call a technology. Uh, I don't know who invented the matrices and all the work that went with it, but at the time it was cutting edge. And it still is. It's actually something that's definitely worthwhile, especially if you're dealing with, like we have talked about before, transformations. Matrices are all over the place on those. Um, using it for solving equations is great, wonderful stuff in your calculator. And there's actually a solve um, solution in your calculator. But you're better off learning to do write things in matrices. It keeps things organized, gets you tied into Excel. But also, there are other ways to solve equations. And so I'm going to demonstrate here in this video a in Wolfram Alpha, which is to tie you towards Mathematica, uh, and also in graphing. So I'm going to put basically the start here, I'm going to start working my way up on an equation. So I'm going to just type this, solve 3x plus 15y equals 47 and 9x plus, I'm sorry, minus 45y equals 93 and you can realize here there are two equations and two unknowns and if you say equals here it gives you a result and it gives you a graph as you work up from this however it doesn't give you that graph so this is great for uh, working in two by two but two by two equations I'm gonna go ahead and add um, the next beginning of the next two equations which we were using to solve we were solving uh, using matrices in a companion video so I'm going to go minus 18x plus 35y equals 5000 and, and I need to do the ands each y and 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 finally a fourth equation which is 107x plus 35y equals 7000. Now we should know that it will not solve in a single solution these but let's see what this program does because we have four equations and four unknowns or and two unknowns so it is not solvable. Let's see what the answer it gives us is. So you've got to have some decent framework here. No solutions exist, but it gives you that. Because what you see now is the plane when z equals 0. What you see here is the plane. And you can look at those colors. And boy, they pick out nice colors for you. And I'm not going to do it, but another day I'll actually pick out the green and the blue and the purple. Because you're going to see these coming at you in a 3D format using uh, a program called Grapher, which is also called, you can get a similar one uh, on Windows or probably on your iPad as well. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest of this just to prove to you that even if I give this program, if it will give me a solution if I have the right number of variables and equations. 37z minus 18t. And if you notice, we generally go to that fourth dimension with t minus 36 Z minus 48 minus 45 T and this next one will be in fact plus 100 Z minus 12 T and then finally as we go across this takes very long input plus Obviously, plus is something you're not allowed to have in your um, variable names. Or, and probably a good idea to not put a dash in there when you think about this. 35y. Let's see. This is 35y. 107x minus 59y. I'm trying to make it consistent between what we've done matrices as well. Minus 59y. Minus 200z, and then plus minus 57t. 
Again, this can be cumbersome, but what the great thing to do with this program at some point is to go ahead and grab this back and store it someplace so you can just pop it back in. You're doing this uh, on a regular basis if you're doing 4x4s for solving where planes or things come together at the same spot. Let's see what happens when we say that. And the key word on this was solve, I think. That's what Wolfram Alpha knows. That's what it is in your calculator, actually. But again, this to show you that matrices needs more time. Wolfram Alpha needs more time. It can calculate the satellites in the sky in all of five minutes, but it's having this much of an issue doing the basic matrix algebra. So we're going to take a look at what this means in a companion video, which I have to record on the Apple side of this computer. Um, again, I'll point out that getting a good 3D grapher, and you know what a good 3D grapher is? Probably Inventor uh, and or Excel and a 4D grapher. Uh, Excel as well can work with that. But there are relatively cheap um, mathematical graphers that will do a lot of computation. So it still needs more time. We'll give it a little bit more time. Go on computing. Oh, I forgot to hit the button. That would have helped. So you just may come up with a negative time and you have to realize that time can be negative because it's always fixed in some datum. Now it's just telling me that no solution exists, so I'm going to double check on my calculation because I know I had a solution. My matrix is 3x, 15y, 37z, minus 18t equals 47, 9x, minus 45y, minus 36z, minus 45t equals 93, minus 18x, plus 35y. Ah, there you go. There's my problem, the equal sign. Plus... 100z minus 18t, 12t. Let's try that again. That's why it was having such a hard time. So, learning how to grab input and store in like a, a program like or like Notepad or some neutral editor. I see I got an and plus plus. I probably got some other double numbers in there. We're going to go down to computing, and we essentially have a time of minus 275.046. So as you learn to stick this in your calculator, by matrices, you have one more relatively English natural language input. And it's what, what it's doing to solve this is it's doing, it's doing Mathematica. So download as Live Mathematica. Let's see what that does. I already have, oh, I don't have a player on here. I have Mathematica. So you're going to see there's all kinds of stuff here. You definitely want to get, you definitely want to get, you definitely want to get the Mathematica player. That'll be required anyway. So go ahead and get it when you can. All right, so I'm going to go back here. You see that that is solving four by four systems of equations. Um, and I'm going to go finally post this and then do it one more time so you can see what it looks like graphically. Those are moving planes and they should come together at one single point at time minus 275.046 and this is where the planes will all come together. Thanks for listening.